What's up my Padawans, Jedi Master Productions here and today I'm bringing you a green screen tutorial for your LEGO Star Wars brick films. Uh, this will be a very easy to follow tutorial um, and also che a cheap tutorial, You're, you won't really need to spend uh, anything really and um, you will only use free software, I promise you that guys. So uh, let's begin. So green screen, green screen, what it is basically you, you're gonna put a green um, background in your videos and that will allow you to pretty much apply any background to your brick film you could either apply i don't know space background or mountain background or forest background right now i'm showing you the raw footage from my um fallen squadron brick film which you can see i did use a blue screen here but the blue blue screen and gray screen are the same thing essentially this just depends on the colors you use uh, so just be mindful that when you're using green screen, don't use green bricks or figures because they're gonna pretty much be used in the green screen. Or same goes for the white, for the blue screen, I mean. So for green screens, uh, there's a lot of options, honestly. I mean, you can just go ahead and get one from Amazon uh, for around 20, 15 bucks. You can find a cheap one. You just, you gotta get a small one because of course, filming your brick films, is just a small set. You don't really need a big uh, green screen to get. Um, you can also just use green pieces of paper, green a green piece of cardboard. If you have green sheets, you could also use those. Those are all options, of course. For example, for my Fallen Squadron brick film, I used some blue uh, sheets that I had there. Didn't even spend a cent getting a blue screen or green screen. Green screen. Uh, next up, an important thing is lighting. And uh, right now I'll show you like a mini sketch of how you you should set up your lighting to get the proper green screen uh, effect basically to uh, get the least amount of flickering in your green screen. So here's your set. I've got five first troopers in there in the base plate, in your table and your green screen background of course. So you want to set up first a lamp uh, facing in towards the left and then also a lamp facing towards the right. That way you're pretty much eliminating shadows and illuminating from both sides. It adds a, adds a lot of depth. And of course the most important one is the top light. We'll pretty much eliminate every single shadow and uh, illuminate the set enough properly. So that's it for the lighting. And <clears throat> once you have all of that set up, you can pretty much start shooting your brick film. And once you have all your footage uh, captured. Let's go ahead now and I'll show you what you need to do on the software to edit the green screen in. So the first software that I'll show you is uh, iMovie. If, you're, uh, if you use uh, Apple products, if you use your uh, MacBook, uh, you'll have iMovie for free. So this is a free software that comes with your computer. Uh, and you can do green screen on iMovie and it's pretty easy. So you got to take first your imported uh, footage here and your background. I've selected this forest background here, so I'm going to drop it down in a timeline. I'm going to eliminate that Ken Burns effect. And then I'm going to grab my footage that I shot with the green screen, or in this case, the blue screen. And I'm going to put it on top of my background there like that. We're just going to extend the background there. So it's the same length as the uh, footage. And uh, next up, you're just going to click on the footage there. You're going to go to the first tab here. And where it says cutaway, you're just going to go and click on green slash blue screen. And there you go. That It's that easy. Now you'll notice that the grass uh, grass pieces there, since they are green, they, are, they will also be part of the green screen. Uh, but in this case, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, they're just green uh, grass pieces and, well, they look good with the forest there. But that's what I'm telling you guys. Be sure not to include any green or blue on your footage when using green screen or blue blue screen because it's going to mess up the uh, brick film. But as you can see, it's pretty neat. It's perfect. And uh, we're going to play it like that. So uh, it's very easy to do. It's just a matter of clicking some buttons and that's pretty much it and in case that you need to adjust it you're just gonna go back there and use this little like eraser piece that's gonna pretty much adjust the green screen if there's any blurry part in there as you can see we're just doing that right 
So that's basically it for iMovie. Really easy to do on iMovie. If you're not, if you're an Apple user, MacBook uh, user, that's pretty much gonna be it. If you use iMovie to edit your brick films, um, and this is why it, most of the way that I did it on my Fallen Squadra brick film. Um, so let's get on with the next uh, software that I use. All right, so the next software we will be using for this green screen tutorial is HitFilm Express 14. Again, this is a free software you can download for, bo for both PC and Mac. Uh, I did use this software in my past tutorial for how to make uh, <clears throat> space battle scenes for your Star Wars brick films. Go check it out. Um, so, very easy to use software. You can learn to use it in a couple of YouTube tutorial videos that you can find over there. Um, but I'll show you how to do it directly right now using um, this uh, software. So after you have imported your background and footage, what you want to do is go to your um, background and make composite shot. I'm just going to make it, make the duration be just five seconds. Uh, depends on your, the duration of your footage. The footage I'm using here lasts for four seconds, but I'll just do five seconds for the sake of it. And here we have our composite shot of our background, right? After that, we're going to drag the, your footage on top of your background there like that. And you're obviously going to get your footage on top of it. However, what you're going to do right now to get that green screen effect is you're going to go to down. You're going to click on your footage and go to effects. To just search green on your search bar and you're going to get the uh, color difference key effect. You're, you will need this effect here. And you're going to click on your little arrow there. And this, here's where you're going to do your screen color. Of course, if your background, your green, if you have a green screen, you choose green. If you have a blue screen, like in my case, you go and choose blue. You could even use red in this program, as you can see. So you already see there your background. But we see that uh, it's blurry. I mean, the green screen effect is not perfect. But that's where you can go around and play uh, play with the settings. So you can go at your min, minimum and max settings to uh, edit the proper uh, settings. <laughs> you can see if you play around too much with it, you're going to mess it up. So you're just going to play around with your gamma here. Uh, you're going to increase that and increase the gamma bit or lower it and you're going to get a much nicer effect as you can see here. Of course there's a bit of more flickering in here but then again you can just lower that gamma and reduce that flickering effect a lot more. So you can see there you have your footage but then again as always play around with these two settings here and uh, you'll eventually get a nice balance between it. So once you already have that great nice balance, you can just go ahead and uh, you're just gonna go to export and export your footage and you'll get the final footage. And we will take a look at the final footage right now. So this is the final footage. Uh, so you can see pretty clean green screen here. Um, of course, I could have done better with better lighting, as I explained to you guys um, on this video. Again, if you have the better the lighting is, the better your green screen will look. Um, then again, you could choose either use iMovie or HitFilm, depends on what computer you have, of course. But um, then again, it's your choice. But that's how you pretty much use green screen on your Lego Star Wars brick films. Pretty easy to use, it's not that complicated. There's just a couple of things to keep in mind in order to get a proper, probably good looking uh, green screen effect. So that's it guys. Any other tutorial requests, I'll gladly take them and make them. And uh, as always, my Padawans, subscribe, like the video, comment below, and I'll see you next time on another video. Bye guys.